Hey what's up and this is Arun and welcome to my channel of Arun's Creation. Today I will teach you how to edit your architecture images. So I have this image and uh, it's really very nice image. Firstly see this. Okay. Now right click on there. This is my raw image and I have clicked this in the Kolkata. And uh, I want to edit it in the Photoshop like camera raw. Now this image is available in the camera raw. Uh, firstly, I will uh, set the exposure. I want very mid tones, so I will I will recover the highlights from the upper portion of the image. Now, shadows are very underexposed, so I will boost shadows to the extreme right. Okay, that's fine. Now, image is now properly exposed now i want uh, vibrance this type of vibrance i want and uh, mm, i will check this white balance i think uh, this one is better okay that's fine now click on open image now the image is now opening in the photoshop so this is my image now control J to make a new copy so that uh, okay go to levels mm, I want to control the highlight from the upper part mm, something like this I want okay that's fine now this is uh, my level in the adjustment layer and now I got a mask with it so I can remove the some portion in the in this part suppose this is my brush and uh, activate your brush by pressing b on the keyboard and apply here i'm using vacuum so that i can get very smooth brush stroke on here now you can see that now this is before this is after even I can control more now you can see that very easily very nicely I got it this is before and this is after a huge difference is there so in this way you can control the light on the different part of your image by using this mask and levels and curves all that okay again B for brush and select this mask okay now if you want to uh, remove the mask paint just X for exchange the color D for default and uh, like this and uh, press X again you will get something like this Now what is happening if I remove this mask right click on there disable this mask now I'm I'm looking for a better contrast for the clouds if I increase the level for the black now this is becoming underexposed so that's why I have put this mask right click on there okay now you can see there very nice very effective Okay, now make a new layer again. Uh, this time I will work for this this building and the this this portion I want to control. Mm, okay, I will directly work with this contrast. Okay, increase the exposure as well. Okay, now you can see there in the bottom part. I'm getting better contrast. So this is my mask. Press B on the keyboard. I don't want any adjustment in the clouds for this. Okay, now you can see there. Mm. You can adjust the size of the brush from the bracket on the keyboard.
so in this way you can uh, achieve the contrast mantle contrast for your image so you can see there this is my original directly from the camera raw now this is the contrast for upper part and this portion so now you can see there uh, there is a distraction like building you can see there how to remove that so to get it remove make a new layer we have this clone stamp tool i want this i'm using vacuum so that it is easy to handle all these things very easily with the vacuum tablet so what is the right way to remove it uh, this is my new layer and uh, make sure you have selected all layers i want effect of all layers so press alt on the keyboard so that i can take a selection and uh, keep in mind that the selection should be very near by it take selection and apply this very nicely very effectively now control zero to fit it so on screen and uh, this is my original and uh, this is the after now uh, I think uh, I am getting more blue in the image so I will try to work with the color balance in the midtones I will choose this yellow and I will drag it to the left side now you can see there I am getting the yellow tone in the image and it's looking nice uh, now see there this is before and this is why this is with the color balance effect I want this so in this way you can create uh, you can edit images um, like architecture now select this layer I you can see a sport black sport there even we have this uh, sport healing brush tool sample all layers now take a selection and apply this clone stem now active this now after all these work uh, merge all these layers now and this is the right time to increase the contrast or sorry increase the sharpness in the image so to achieve the best sharpness to your images firstly go to view I want to fit 200% to this image now select this move tool okay now I am on the 100% go to filter then we have this sharpen then unsharp mask this is the best way to increase the contrast there there are three things amount radius and threshold mm. Radius I want uh, 1.5. This is maybe the ideal value and uh, it's depend on the image as well Now amount I want uh, around this mm, 190 and threshold 0 I want even you can increase it so can I can remove the Noise in the in the in the in the blur part Now you can see there it is removing the dots in the Blood part now this is before and this is after now we have achieved the very best con sharpness for our image now click on ok now you can see there now this is before sharpness and this with the sharpness okay now without sharpening this is with sharpness so thank you friends keep watching our inscription